Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin Wassalatu wassalamu ala sayyidil anbiya wal mursalin Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Amma ba'd Fa'udu billahi minash shaytani rajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Man qatala nafsan bi ghayri nafsin aw fasadin fil ardi fa ka'annama qatala an-nas jami'a sadaqallahu al-azim My dear friends and judges Today I have been gifted a golden chance to speak on burning topic of recent time Islam and terrorism It's enough surprising that Islam is attributed to violence activities and terrorism whereas Islam is a religion of peace and mercy Islam has no any connection with violence and terrorism Islam does not permit terrorism and violence activities Islam prohibits from killing cheating stealing abusing hurting and all kinds of sins <coughs> My dear friends, how can Islam allow us terrorism and violence, whereas the word Islam itself means peace and submission to the will of Almighty Allah? How can Islam permit us to murder and kill someone, whereas Allah says in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 32, Man qatala nafsan bi ghayri nafsin aw fasadin fil ardi faka'annama qatala nasa jamia. Whoever kills a person, not in retaliation for a person kill, nor for spreading aberrance on the earth, is as if he has killed the whole of mankind. <clears throat> My dear friends, in fact, Islam is a religion which protects the weak from the strong and prohibits from terrorism, violence and killing. It forces to respect peace and brotherhood. It orders Muslims to respect human life. It teaches the believer to have good behavior with neighbors, whether they are Muslim or non-Muslim. It does not only command the safety of human life, wealth, honor, and society, but it forces the safety of animal life also. As it is mentioned in one hadith, they are rewarded for kindness to every living being, whether human being or animal. <coughs> My dear friends, Nowadays, many people ask questions that if Islam is a peaceful religion, why jihad is allowed in Islam? Because it's terrorism. That's why. Firstly, I would like to identify jihad and terrorism. Because nowadays, a lot of confusion have been created by identifying jihad and terrorism. And it's a baseless propaganda to defame Islam and Muslim. My dear friends, Jihad and terrorism are completely apart and different because jihad is basically a constructive phenomenon whereas terrorism is based on destruction and killing. Jihad is permitted only for restoring peace and it's a fundamental right of human being whereas terrorism involves harassment, fear and killing of human being and it breaks the law and orders and work out to destroy social and political orders. My dear friends, in Islam, jihad is allowed in the last position. As Allah says in Surah Muhammad, chapter number 60, verse number 8, لا ينهاكم الله عن الذين لم يقاتلوكم في الدين ولم يخرجوكم من دياركم أن تبروهم وتقسطوا إليهم Allah does not forbid you as regards those who did not fight your account of faith and did not expel you from your house that you do good to them and deal justly with them. In the light of this ayah, it's clear that Islam commands Muslims to adopt justice and fairness in their action, even with the enemies. But in spite of that, the enemies of Islam are trying to defame Islam in various ways. <clears throat> My dear friends, Zionist forces, European power, and Western medias are doing propaganda to defame Islam and Muslim of the world in the name of terrorism. After 9-11 attack, systematically international propaganda has been launched to create an impression that Islam and the Prophet Muhammad are the fountain of terrorism, hate and crime. 
This propaganda has been launched such as intensity that majority of humanity have come to believe that Islam preaches terrorism and violence. However, I would like to request all of you to study Islam and its teaching. <clears throat> my dear friends, now I am going to conclude my speech with this prayer that may Allah make this word peaceful and make us brother. Amin wa akhlu da'wana. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen.